be better late at night for you guys. So really a um, lot going on since the last two weeks, but it, not much has changed except for the fact that we see those second tier crypto, that, that new group emerging that I've been talking about. And I think that's a, um, one of the things to focus on going forward here as we end the year where, okay, Bitcoin's doing its thing, Ethereum, we'll look at why both of those got rejected. There are definite reasons why. And then um, look at the second tier, the, the new, what I think is the new emerging class of crypto that I've been talking about for a while, where it seems like the money's going to flow. It's going to go and keep going to Ethereum. It'll keep going to Bitcoin. But the Solanas of the world, the Algos, the OMGs, and others that we have mentioned. So here's Solana um, cracking all-time new highs just recently, earlier today. Above 220 and have backed off since. Remember, in our last few discussions... We were down around, our, our last set of patterns were around the 136 level on that. Give me a little help here, but uh, for the people that have been there or have been following along for the last several weeks, hold on one second. So that's um, absolutely one example where, okay, that's the leader. That's our new leader, Solana busting the move now. So how, how else will this play out? It took time. Well, I mean, not a heck of a lot of time. In relative market terms, it really, maybe for crypto years, it took, it seemed like years. But uh, we went from 136 to 220, folks, is a, just a... Phenomenal 30% move in a short period of time, uh, three weeks. So think about that. Now, let's back it up. Yes, a um, couple questions. We are working with TradingView, and this is Harmonic Pattern Collection for TradingView. Uh, there are other versions, but we do this because I think uh, this is more, we gear this more towards crypto crowd um, not to mention that we, you know, I, I think it's easier to be able to show everybody, uh, all the different markets, especially with crypto, because we can't get it on the other platforms as well as traditional markets. So what's the deal with this? This is harmonic pattern collection for trading view. Uh, well, it's clearly the levels and everyone can attest to that. That's using it. We give away free trials so just send us your username and the best place to start as always go to harmonictrader.com become a basic member simply register free email and folks like 95 percent of what i'm doing here is free uh and i i recommend that you exhaust all of the free resources take the basic membership take um, take a trial to every one of our platforms and study all the the resources over the course of two to four weeks and you can get everything that you need that other people will charge you thousands of dollars and it'll take you months to learn. We can do it in less than 30 days with the right tools and resources and then follow along. Join the community on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. Some of that will change. I think um, we're going to come up with a new community here that will kind of centralize what everything's doing. But uh, take a look at, you know, what I'm posting on a regular basis. Some of the stuff we'll talk about today, you know, like here's the big bearish pattern for NASDAQ that I'll get to in a minute. One of the reasons why it's selling off, I posted that yesterday, a little reaction, type one reaction going on there, but get all of the free resources, uh, please get, take advantage of, of that before even trying to subscribe, because that's uh, f for everything, the entire process 
for everybody. You know, I'm not here to waste anyone's time. Please don't waste my time. I Look, if you want to subscribe, great. If you don't want to subscribe and you just want to learn, that's great too. Take your time with it. But what most people find is that the if they believe in my work and they've kind of come this far with me and all the books and the patterns, you know I've got it in the software. And people are, we're really, we're making a difference with this program. There's a lot of harmonic garbage out there. It's a shame. But, um, you know, the only harmonic outfit is HarmonicTrader.com and Harmonic Pattern Collection. So please take a look at that. Uh, why does it have, it has six indicators and you're saying, well, the free, for the free version, for trading view, I understand. Uh, some people can't have all the bells and whistles. Um, and one of the limitations is that we had to break up the entire program. It's six different modules right here in the invite only scripts, all right, that you can add. Now, here's the thing. Okay, if you have a free account, you can only have three indicators. Well, you probably can just have the arrows and have two M and W pattern scanners. And buy, that would be more than enough, actually. Uh, it wouldn't take long for you to be able to afford a, a premium subscription. So, and that's kind of my point here, is that it doesn't take long for people to realize that, what we focus on and the, the the pattern opportunities are pretty substantial uh and it doesn't take long to get in on this progress i think you go to the group uh you go to our facebook group you talk to people there you see what we have posted on twitter you know i mean trade after trade after trade folks so that's that's the thing you need to review um, and, and see what we've been doing, see what we've been doing for, you know, all year, if not the last several months, because, uh, you know, I, I, I just think it's, it has been ideal harmonic pattern conditions. And all you need to do is follow along within the, the proper, correct framework and build that experience so that you understand how it unfolds when to expect a reaction, when to expect a reversal, and what are the key triggers. I mean, it's, it's, it is, you know, just sticking to the rules that of what really constitutes true harmonic patterns. Uh, here's one that, again, I want to get to in a second. Here's Chili's, and this is one of several that are doing these larger type 2 return setups, meaning... They did their reaction, their type 1 reaction. Now they're in the process of returning to retest and give us the type 2 reversal. Uh, we have a whole bunch of those uh, that we'll jump into. So let's look at really quick. Get Just look at the, the crypto complex of, say, Solana. Now you're up there hitting up against some resistance at 210. These are all about your daily expansions. Again, here's the thing. And this is fairly consistent across the board. Uh, with most of these, we have been gunning for minimum 886 retests. And this is Ethereum. This is Bitcoin. I'll get to those in a second uh, just because Solana is gunning today. But it is, you've got two things going on. Right here, you do have this W formation of, it's actually a Gartley. All right, at the 786, well, this is at the 886. Why? Because the ABCD and the other alignments favor it a little bit higher. That's around 208. Okay, your ABCD, meaning A to B, that segment from 110 to 185 with that heavy retracement, almost an 886 retracement, get you back up to 208. So I would expect the pause. It's just, it doesn't line up for a Gartley. This is more of, in my opinion, I think it becomes a crab pattern because your ABCD and your other alignments don't work out. When that happens, folks, like when your B point is 
65%, maybe 66% or higher. Then you favor this W formation really actually could becomes more of the crab nature. Why is that? Because the initial uh, breakthrough that I had with all of the patterns, okay, was Gartley versus the the bat. Before me, people were shaping out, drawing out M and W formations, but not differentiating anything, looking at every W formation at a 786, looking at every extension pattern at a, you know, either a 127 or 1618. No, no, no real specification. It all starts with the B point. Where does that line up relative to XA? It matters in the Gartley. It has to be a 618. Now, this is fairly close, but it's like, it's 65%, 65.3, 8 is like right there. The, the problem is you don't get the right geometry. You don't get the right structure to line up where it's at a 786. So when you see this thing bust through that area at 205 or 210, and you know your W formation doesn't quite have the structure it needs to be a bearish Gartley. It actually is more of a crab. Well, I'm going to tip my hat more to that possibility of 285. Not, no, I'm not looking to sell 205. We could see a pause reaction here easily. But the larger formation speaks of a crab. And this is also where we'll take a look at what's happening on this retest. Okay, what do the indicators say? The two primary indicators that I use are amplified RSI, which is a variation of the standard RSI. My entire volume two book is about RSI. This is an adaptation of that, but you can apply the same techniques to RSI. If you wanted to draw by hand and use standard RSI, you can do that. But again, why would you? Because this is all optimized stuff. With the bottom indicator, harmonic strength index, all of this is telling us it still has a ways to go. So there, the bottom indicator is harmonic strength index. Until you come up, hit the overbought and pivot out and amplified here. Okay, that's expanding. That would still need a few days, even in the worst case scenario, to pivot out and just turn on a dime. That's not going to happen. You're going to spend at least a few more days up in this overbought, expanding, and usually that's where you see price really bust. This is all part of the framework, folks. And um, again, once you become familiar with the different formations, certain characteristics, it doesn't take long where you put it together. And it's not, it's not like it's a million different possibilities. It's either one or the other. Real close. Um, let's go to Bitcoin because this has been the clearest structure that we have stuck to all along. Go back and look at our, our uh, some of the presentations going back over the last six weeks even. Looking for essentially a C point which we have all along on daily weekly formation. And there was a whole lot of stuff. I traced it out two weeks ago. The Harmonic Trader members know this whole scenario, but I'll do it quickly again. Where we left off is simply arguing that, again, this too was a massive crab pattern in formation Look at your B point up there again, another 65, 66%, not the 618 for the Gartley, that B point really should be a plus minus 3%. So you get beyond 65%, it, you start to lose its integrity, if you will, and that matters. So if, if we're arguing this is a crab pattern with a 1618 extension, which has been what we're talking about all along, You know, that's where we go. Hold on one second. One second, everybody. One second. Where'd it go? Hold on. I'm going to put him on. Wait. 
Hey, Richmond, I'm on right now. Why don't you jump on? Okay. All right. Thanks. That's the infamous and famous Richmond Flowers. He's wondering if I'm on YouTube. I am on YouTube, folks. Friday afternoons between 1 and 2. We're going to get make that actually Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Probably four-day schedule. Definitely three, and we're going to move the sessions to YouTube. Again, more details on that next week. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So the 1618 has been our argument all along. Why? Because that would be the ultimate harmonic pattern to kill this this uh, kill the whole market. We would get some kind of divergence, maybe one last rush up that is a divergence up to 89, 87,000 um, or even better. So here's kind of the update. Um, I'll get to why we're pausing in a second, but I, I want to update the big scenario. So the big scenario, if we're going to say this is a crab pattern and, and we're going to shoot that up to the, the 1618, also take a look at your B point. Since your B point is more of the 618 type, 65, 68%, whatever, it's not a deep crab where the 886 would be. We're going to expect some kind of reaction up here, 89, 90,000, maybe 92 max. That's important because it will set up a type 1 reaction. If you don't understand what type 1 reaction is, please go to the website. Plenty of material on it. Essentially, all harmonic patterns are treated this way with a an immediate reaction off of the true harmonic level followed by a return type 2 return back up for the final retest that sets up the final final move where if this is going to be the top and all the the crypto folks are arguing 90 100 200 300 thousand let's just talk about the pattern because there's everyone's basing it off of fundamentals and I got, I'm just pure structure and believe me that's what all I'm going to be doing you're not going to get new stories from me you're not going to get unless I'm I'm really triggered um, I'm not going to be anything but levels and for some people that's boring but other people if they know what to expect they know if we have an exciting reaction coming up on Bitcoin at 89,000 with a pretty clear path to complete this pattern on before then well you, we have a nice pa nice plan into the end of the year and then ultimately if we're going to get a, a top in this crypto market it'll come on a type 2 reversal in my opinion it'll come up we'll hit this crab and then we'll do we'll go up one more time and that'll be probably like a 1902 What's a 1902? That's an ancillary kind of secondary number we utilize on these structures. That's around, you know, 100, 101. So let's be mindful of that. We are in a key spot. And I, I for those that are haven't been here in a while or for those that um, haven't seen the material, Please go back to a month ago because our whole strategy beginning of September was um, looking for the C point in this crab. We had we we outlined this whole formation just as we're is as it's playing out and as I described. And there, there's a lot of things here where it's working out in ideal harmonic fashion that on the daily and smaller time frames too that look this is just an all of fractal of the larger weekly playbook that we will see so a um, couple of quick updates on software and bot activity yeah I'm guys I'm still working on it and I'm not happy with it I'm just not happy with uh, I haven't dialed in 
the trade management, I think I've got identification nailed. I've mentioned this to the members before. Um, and so I have a couple of ideas. Um, one of the things would be to take out what we currently have in terms of identification capabilities of highlighting the type one, type two areas. I think I mentioned this previously where we could maybe highlight the minimums of type ones and type twos. I think that would be helpful. There's a lot here going on. I know, especially if you're new, you're like, what's, what is all of this? You know, all uh, the lines and the arrows and so whatever, but you got to, you got to blow it up. You got to really focus it in. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. So on the hourly for Bitcoin, check out what led right up to this recent move. Really nice crab pattern here. Um, actually deep crab. And this one almost to the hop, but perfect. Perfect reactive material. And then check it out. Here's the PRZ. And this is what uh, I, I try to drill home over and over again. And I think this will be something that I can bring to the program that will help everyone. And then the bot, especially with the, the tricky trade management stuff, um, I just am not capturing enough uh, consistency consistently across the board to lay it out yet, but I do have this functionality and I'll, I'll show it's this, it's this way. We already know, and a lot of what I talk about is identifying where does the trade begin? Forget the pattern, okay? We look, yeah, the patterns are great, but if you don't have the right pattern and you don't have the right levels, you're sunk. And so the right levels then have to reflect and have other things going on in that area to trigger the opportunity to make the pattern actionable. Think of it like that. So here is where for this Bitcoin hourly, uh, really nice deep crab that materialized on the latest run. So I'm trying to blow it up. So the pattern completes. There's the 1618, but we don't consider the pattern complete till the, the bar closes. And we utilize the top end of that price bar, individual price bar, to help gauge how far beyond the measured level it can go. In this case, it went pretty far, 66.5 critical point. All right, and took the better part of three or four hours to reverse. So, and this arrow right here, that's HSI. So you have several things here on this recent crab with um, uh, with the reaction, and then I'm going to show you the reversal in a second, that say, all right, we probably need some more time on Bitcoin. So here's the type one reaction, and you target that down to that measured level, target one. That's how we treat it. What I want to do with this is hopefully highlight. I mentioned this before. Uh, I, I say this to kind of help everybody think about it. And I'll get to all those questions there in a second about how you can get the, the alerts and everything. But again, if you're asking these questions, I'm going to direct you to just take the trial and get caught up on it. It's really important that it's the only way to get your hands on it. You can't, you can't even, you know, you can look at my Twitter stuff. You can look at what people are doing. That's probably even more telling is what everyone else is doing. And you look at what they're doing, look at how things are playing out. It's profound, but it takes work. You got to get your hands on, on the machine here, hands on the tools. But what I want to do is then highlight, say that type one move and say, okay, folks, if you're looking at Bitcoin and we're highlighting a red area down to target one, well, you better not be taking a long. I mean, if you can read it that way from a starting point, I think you're going to save, keep yourself out of a lot of danger that you may otherwise not be looking at. The uh, secondary aspect of trying to identify the type two, where does that actually come in because you can have stuff that's really close things that don't have confirmation it can be tricky all this is all part of what i've been dealing with the last couple months with trying to dial this thing in 
but we can walk through it on a larger perspective where, look, you don't need to know every bell and whistle here, but you have to understand basic concepts, respect basic structure, know when Bitcoins run too far too fast or, you know, on both sides. So right now where Bitcoin is trading 60,700, um, we're just reacting pretty hard off of that, but we need to also look at our daily and let's go here daily weekly so what is going on up here immediately just to have this kind of reaction why did we get rejected here uh it has something to do with the other kind of formation that did materialize which is this shark pattern and again we talked about this about i think two weeks ago uh, on on YouTube and then gold members we've been discussing this the last two weeks that shark pattern needs an 886 minimum but the real focus of a shark is the 1.0 and it, you know a lot of times we'll see that immediately right off the 886 um, and then reject and come back down for say Oh, I don't know, a, a 382 or even a 50 minimum. So, and this kid, this easily can happen and still be in a major uptrend. So, Bitcoin 382, I mentioned this on Tuesday. Be, be 382 off of that, let's say that gets really smacked down hard. That gets you down to 50,000, folks. And then you go. I think, listen, don't that can have a heavy swing like that and still be within the larger move up to 89,000 um, over the next three months, you know, two months. Do I still advise going to break even on the 382 of ABCD trades? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I, I think you got to take half profit on the type one. So, you know, again, let me get into that in a second because there's a couple ABCDs I do want to look at. Uh, just be aware of that. We can get have a nasty rejection here. And the, the other thing about Bitcoin is the fact that we have a few bearish patterns, overreached them, um, but still could come back, test these failed levels. You know, come back, test the failed uh, this failed PRZ. We came back, already kissed the hop. That was almost 10,000. Uh, there's a good comment uh, on the shark video and on all of the videos. There's a, on the YouTube a channel, folks, there's all of the harmonic pattern, individual harmonic patterns. I can just pop that up. And so there, the question was, well, you have a 113 and you have, uh, and now I'm saying a 1.0. And my, the comment on the shark, okay, is that yes, you, you can have, it really depends on where your impulsive leg comes in. So let me blow this up one more time. And let me, the color's terrible. I think that red just came up too dark or something. Let me just make that a little bit brighter. Uh, but the thing with the shark is that we look at the 886 and it's really kind of smashed between those two. We look for as high as the 1.0 and shark usually has kind of an impulsive reaction to it. It's a little bit better, but it, it's kind of like this. Um, and we have been talking about these two possibilities. One, because this B to C leg break down there. All right, and it's just below the prior low. It's not even ideal, but it's there. Set us up initially when we were down here back in August, wondering if this was even going to come off the low. 
uh, and we started to make a move, I said, well, the minimum 1618, oops, sorry, gets you to there, which is which was about 50,000, 47,000, and that was kind of the first target, but this still has shark properties because your BC leg and combining the 886, all right, it's more like you have a, a 2.618 on your BC now with an 886. It's like there. But what I'm saying is that within this, if you're looking at the 886, which you should, as a minimum level, the BC has to be a 1618. And depending on where the BC falls in, like if 1618 was above the 886, we'd look higher. But the 1618 was down here. So we use more like a, a 2618 and focus on this 886. That's what the shark, I mean, the shark really is just an impulsive creature trying to retest the, a prior critical pivot uh, where 886 is essential. But I'm also saying is that don't be surprised to see the thing run to the 1 0 as your overspill type rejection zone. And it should get rejected. And that, that has actually shark qualities. A nice hard rejection. Uh, and then do some consolidation. And then you get ready to go again. Here's the other thing that's to take away from these kind of structures with the shark. All right. Uh, is the reciprocal formation. And each leg should be about the same. I mean, uh, here's... The Bitcoin did that first thrust down, 40, down to 29. That was about 12,000. And then you had another one. This one actually became the 5.0 with that kind of reciprocal behavior. And then you should see that again. Probably another off of the high. If you're, again, we were 67, 68, come down to low 50s, 55, 52, and then go again. That sets you up. Uh, the other thing to look for, folks, uh, and again, a critical point, but let's look at total crypto market cap. That too sets up like this. Last time we were on YouTube, we were talking about this of What's the B point? Because there was a lot of similarities to the Bitcoin situation. Go here. Down to your low. And then with this one, we hit that 886, which I was saying, okay, then that sets up eventually. Bang there. We were looking for the C point. Remember that was a 5.0 and then this will take us for a deep crap. And that's that's still the larger weekly. Sorry, let me get this over here. It's terrible. So you have a W formation. 1618 is there. About 3.5, but this is a deep crab. Probably goes to 1902 area. 3.7, 3.8. I mean, I, I I said months ago that there was a possibility for total crypto market cap to go to 5 trillion. I think 4 trillion could happen by the end of the year if we, we can get this surge run. Let me bring that back. BT do, BTC dominance falling, sure. Hop isn't covered in any of the books. No, Hop is actually available in the videos with all the software, and it's on the website too. Hop is harmonical optimal range, but it, actually Hop is in volume three under a different name called uh, layering. There's a section in volume three on the website. You can get the book. Go to HarmonicTrader.com and on the basic members page, you can download three. Here's volume three. So it's a good question. What is HOP? HOP's a relatively new concept that I've put out where it 
try to really give us the absolute make or break on these levels. There are measured ideal levels. We utilize the terminal bar, the price action. Once it hits those levels to gauge how far will the real world trading take us beyond the measured levels. But certainly there's make or breaks. Let me see if I can find uh, find the layering. I forget what page it's on. Yeah, I think it's in here. It's basically in volume three, again, permissible execution zone is another concept where we're trying to essentially gauge. We know it doesn't, we know it's not exact, but here you go. There's a, there's a lingering one. And this is uh, with deep crab. The deep crab and all crab patterns use the 1618, but we can utilize like a, a 2.0 or 1.902 as a secondary uh, make or break level. So it's uh, check that out, and all that information is that's on the basic members page available for free. So for total crypto market cap, we have we do have that W formation. And let me just let's get that right there. The B point a little bit above that 886, but you know, we did react right after hitting it. It was fairly precise. All of that lines up where we can let's be as conservative as possible. Let's drop it down to a 1618 and just start there about 3.55 trillion. So you have another 30% to go. Uh, I think there's another, this is the crypto total market cap. Crypto cap total is the symbol on trading view. But that has been our plan for the last two months and we'll stick with it. So within this, how do you go? Uh, break this down, looking for pullbacks. I said this to members on Tuesday in our gold session that we're looking for now, we're looking for the big down days. You want to see crypto down 10% in a day. That's one sign that it's almost washed out. Because this stuff should start doing rejection recovery type moves come down, get, you know, get a lot taken out in a short period of time, flush them out, and then build them back. The beautiful thing about the patterns that are auto-generated is um, with all of the levels, we understand that at, at a minimum, the reactive type 1 levels or type 1, type 2 zones give us areas to look for just because this pattern got blown out, we see some kind of reaction. Uh, they act as kind of moving support where even if this is just a reaction, I don't expect it to take out these these target levels much at all as we climb higher. It's really important to understand that you, you have to take your focus off of the immediate 1618 level or 886. Zone concept is so critical with all of that. Uh, you know, just important to be mindful that we're looking for behavior within a certain price range. That's what patterns are all about. Patterns giving us the right levels to look at. Here is monthly Coinbase. That's a really nice chart, folks. You want to see, we want to be here next Friday. We want to see, you want Bitcoin above 65, 66, maybe even 67,000 by next Friday. You, you get a strong monthly close, folks. And this is the final point for Bitcoin and all of them. Is you get that, you're going to be able to shoot the gap. And this is another concept right out of the books. This is the BAM concept. This is an ABCD BAM where you call it a harmonic breakout, if you will. Okay, but on the monthly chart. This is one way that we look at this and can project from here. How do we know? How 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 do we know this is going you know to to this point 
at a minimum, our minimum ABCD projection gives us uh, those targets. That's the minimum kind of uh, breakout wave, if you will. It can, yes, can go much higher than that. But if we're here retesting the prior highs, 66,000, and you want an idea of where it's going, you shoot the gap and you go to 89 minimum. That's a harmonic breakout to your D point, like a magnet effect. Wouldn't the bearish shark be all the way back down to the C levels of A? Uh, we'll get to that here on the daily. Okay, this is this is just if if that monthly A B C D. That's our firm high probability minimum objective and right now we're trying to resolve this kind of shark pause if you will what we typically looking for on a shark really is a, a 5-0 but I look at 382 as the first minimum objective and I wouldn't um, I will say it like this I'll look for the 382 and, and we want to see how it acts in the next couple days. I mean, again, this could go sideways and drift down, get to the 382, some kind of corrective wave. But look at also the, here are the indicators. And this is why I look at indicators. Okay, uh, RSI is clearly, this is our amplified RSI has rolled over. And my harmonic strength index has been rolling over, heading down as this has rallied up to retest that prior high for the better part of, you know, 10 days. So the way that I look at this with this rejection is you need to satisfy some kind of uh, over oversold condition. You got to let more air out of the tires. That's what's going on right here in anticipation for that next leg. They, they just didn't have enough to bust it through on this move, which is, that's okay. I mean, it's just, they're needing more time to do so. You're not getting the blast right now. And I'll, I'll uh, I'm going to show one thing here that, um, that does help. Um, yeah. The, we do have the scanning capability. And I'll talk to uh, speak to that in a moment. I did a video, and it turns out the video, the volume came out horrible. The uh, the sound was just really bad. So I'm, I'm gonna we'll redo something. But in our Bitcoin analysis, crypto analysis in general, folks, I know everyone wants us to ramp now. Really important to be aware that this is like a almost a mechanical process, and you have to give this back. Uh, coincidentally, you've got futures and you got other characters now on the market able to move the price uh, indirectly. Doesn't matter. We just want to respect these overbought conditions structurally, uh, The what needs to happen for this to, to launch again. And this is just another situation like the prior correction that we went through, where once you get that done, you can go through and do another 1618 extension. And that's how you need to think about a lot of these moves that, yes, they look like they're going to moon, but really what they just keep doing are these cycles of these 1618 moves. You go up, maybe go a little bit higher than 1618, but 1618 thrust up, corrective down, 1618 back up. That's uh, it's really important to kind of train your brain that that's how these markets move. That's what to almost expect where when you get to a real nice swing, 1618, after a couple of weeks, yeah, chances are you're going to have to pause, go sideways. And most people are looking for the moon. So I hope that kind of tempers maybe some of the expectations while being a little more re realistic. The bat just printed one hour on the Coinbase uh, on on BTC. Uh, 
on the one hour. I did see that. Uh, there's a Wanda. You are retesting. There's a, uh, there's a couple of things I did see earlier. Uh, uh, let me see. Where's my Coinbase feed? Someone's saying there's a bat pattern. Well, here's on Bybit. Oh, that's a one minute. I'm sorry. Let's go one hour. That would be fantastic if you got if you did get a big fat green pattern off of this bearish pattern. There you go. That's Bitrex, but same thing. Okay, folks. Nice one. Who shouted that one out? LT. Thank you very much. See, that's what you can do. Uh, you know, this is. I'll get in to show the, how to set up the scanning feature in a moment, but this is, someone just shouted out, hey, the software just generated the bat pattern on the one hour time frame on Bitcoin. There you go. That's the kind of thing we want to see off of these all time new highs, hard pullback, give you a nice pattern, nice retracement pattern. And it would be something like this, you know, type one correction. We do have confirmation. Look, HSI arrow just generated now. Um, we topped the arrow off eight minutes ago. So we're we're this is where you would absolutely uh, what I was saying before of having the shading go on. Shading goes on, meaning type one re reaction is in play, where you go up minimum to target one or target one or HSI. You know, you're looking for that move now to do that quick reaction. That could be, you know, 2000 bucks the top side. But then look for this over the weekend because this then sets you up for the kind of thing of, okay, reaction, come down, bang. Maybe you get down to 58, 9. This is the kind of thing you would want to see right off the top with a retest and then go. So you want to really go, you want to get to those new all-time highs, you do it after some consolidation off of a pattern like this right off the top. That's a great one. Why isn't the 67 KC point instead of the lower? Let's see. Um, that's a good one. There, okay, that's that's actually uh, that's a really a good one. So and it and it demonstrates the level of the algorithms because although the patterns can look similar and most people can draw them manually, and and a lot of people, a lot of people have fantastic success doing it manually. I say go for it, but I also say if you're going to have success with that, why not have a backup? And for those that aren't great at drawing manually or don't have the time because it's time consuming, because how do you know what the right measurement is? That's when you go off the software. Now, the question is, why is it, why isn't this the, the high here and why are they grabbing here? Again, this has to do with an algorithm issue where, yeah, by definition, you could say that is a, an effective uh, B point for the bat but this works better and so this bc measurement is more relevant to your xa and also internally you guys don't see the abcd calculation but there's a built-in abcd calculation so we have at least well we have three zone calculations going to every pattern that also line up with about oh i don't know 10 different other measurements where the A, the C, the B, these all have to be within specific points. That's why we're getting the results we get. Uh, I, I firmly feel with the pattern and feel like we've proven what is a true harmonic with this. Not only with the reaction, but how the reaction reversal all, all unfold. So this would be the plan for the weekend. You go look for type one on the hourly. And as most of you know, I throw in the 30 bar rule. What's the 30 bar rule? We treat every pattern. We use 30 bars as a minimum, not only for pattern size, but for reaction expectation. So pattern completes, we should utilize at least 30 bars. So that gets you into tomorrow where this should 
come up, do the reaction, and then probably come back down. Keep an eye on it. But this is a nice one for the next day or so. Get this bounce back up into target one, target two. The indicator I'm using is my harmonic pattern collection for trading view. And again, the place to go is harmonictrader.com. That's where you get all the harmonic pattern information. All of this is free. Okay. And then get a free trial to the software, including the uh, trading view program. And if you wanted to, get one to the trading view and then take one to MetaTrader and then eSignal and then trading view. I don't care if you really want to stretch it out over eight weeks and take all the free trials. Be my guest because it's not going to take you more than two weeks to realize what's going on here. And most people do. Really critical, folks, that, that you get the source information of uh, everything we're doing. It doesn't take long. Here are the Here's the library of, of all the patterns. So right in there, um, start with all of them and just go on through and go through the series. You can go to the YouTube channel. So let's get into this really qu quickly. So the update of moving to YouTube and because everything is, I, I think it's been a, more accessible there for the masses and there's too much in misinformation that I feel like okay let's get out there and correct it and we can do that on the right forum so that's YouTube more on that next week there's a nice pattern on Cardano there's a lot of nice patterns uh, that I have been mentioning and again most of them are doing what we say is the type 2 return for that larger move um here's again here's an example from the 12th there's solana beautiful automated pattern okay our big number also we were talking about on solana was 136 now 208 205 that's the kind of stuff we're putting up and just go to at harmonic trader and you'll see all of the the stuff that we have posted and continuing to play out. I mean, there's things that are still playing out now, and then you can go back, you know, even a week or two and see some of the big stuff. Like, this is one I really like, I've talked about for a long time, which is Algo, which I think is a part of that other group. Uh, that one shot up to the target two, now coming back down. Um, again, the larger area has been 165 on Algo. And we're looking for all of these to go up, at least retest the prior highs, if not break out. That's where to get connected with everything, folks. I think we'll be able to communicate even better um, once we get several days a week on YouTube. Um, again, I'm not going to go crazy. I, I think maybe I haven't decided. It's, it might only be three days, which will probably be save me. But... Um, we're going to shift it from 9 o'clock in the morning to more like 12 noon or 1 o'clock. And maybe keep the Friday, Monday, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Friday. I don't know. I'm going to, I will be thinking about it over the next several days and let everybody know. But the place to start is Harmonic Trader. I think we got a great thing going. And um, the other last kind of news that I, I'm going to release over the weekend is there is a trading view course that hasn't been available I used to I give it away with uh, the introductions so if you sign up and you get a trial we send it to you I'm just gonna make that available it's a four-hour course utilizing the trading view program how to look at the patterns so we'll get into all of that um, some of those other ones, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I didn't, Ziggy, I didn't get into stuff like you're talking about GSAT, which I'm I'm all in on. I mean, GSAT, I'm ready. And I think it, again, I'm, I've am i been talking about that one. Uh, and I think that's just ready to, to come back uh, just to answer one or two. Look, here's the GSAT. 
I know a few of you have been talking about it. Ever since we got rejected at 278, I'm still looking for the return back up to, here we go. Uh, we're, we're setting up for that return back up to 275. That's my play. There's also, look, remember the crab patterns we talked about last week? This was stuff with the gold members, but that crab pattern already generated the one, two. The other G thing is gold, folks. Gold, gold, gold. So gold has done it, and maybe we'll save this for next week. But in my, we have talked about gold at 1720. Today was a pretty big move. Um, here's one gold stock we've been on, which is El Dorado. Since the low at around 750, crab pattern at 790, we had it a couple of them. Uh, if you're not on gold or if you've been waiting for gold for a while, uh, get ready. Yeah, it's it's starting now. There's uh, you know, there's El Dorado on the daily. Yep. A lot of gold stocks in a full type 1 reversal now, a reaction now. And then uh, the other one is is crude oil. So here we go again, finishing the week. Uh, we're up. Uh, Nat gas. Look, this is this isn't going to stop just because you had a little pause here after those big runs. Yeah, that's that's probably all for next week. Um, we've got a ways to go. Look, boil going positive on the day. I mentioned uh, early in the week that about 60 bucks was the target where we back down at this crab pattern on the hourly and 120 is still my target. So we'll get into that more. I think there's a lot to do. I, I think it's going to be, you know, a mad dash between now and the end of the year. Think about it, folks. It's Christmas is two two months away, eight weeks away. You know, talking about maybe 40, 45 sessions left in the year, not even 50 sessions. So I'll get into more of that on Friday, next Friday, and then I'll have the full announcement of what the plan is for November. Um, yeah, Alec, I'll, let me talk to you on that about Hearst on Monday because that's the other thing I want to do with more of a YouTube-style show. And I mentioned to the members, there are uh, a slew of people. We did a great, great interview with um, Paula Webb, who was Mark Douglas's partner, and she has carried on his legacy, their legacy, where they work together on trading in the zone. We did a great one with Mitch Ray. And there will be more of that. There will be a lot more of that, that people, people that you know, that I know, that it would be a great forum. So, oh, man, you got me. Okay. Last two minutes. Scanner. Okay, for th folks that don't know, or you want to take the trial, but you're like, I don't want to look for all the patterns. Here's what you do. You hit FX. That's go to your invite only scripts. Add the pattern watch list. Okay. It's right there. Now, I mentioned this before that the best thing to do is to create a separate window where you have the scanner on one screen or one window and you run your charts on the other. So if I add this, let me save, I'll save the current one. Um, let me save the layout. I'll make a copy of this layout like that. HT copy one. Okay, so I've saved that. Great, so now I have that saved. So now I'm gonna create a dedicated watch list scanner. I'm going to remove the other indicators. Okay, and bust up this chart. I'm going to put in probably two or three uh, scanner screens. So watch list there and there. 
Uh, let me save it. Why isn't that coming up? Hold on. Let me remove more more of this. I think I've got I've got all of them. All right, so opened up the two windows. So let me reload because I I had each one is considered like a separate indicator because so you can get overloaded. So I have like I have eight modules. I'm gonna remove some more of these. All right, great. Let me go here. Now let me go to the settings. So I'm going to open up the settings list here. Now this is where it's limited to PineScript. It's their maximum amount of settings per window is eight. So go in there and select, you know, the top crypto. You want Bitcoin, you want Ethereum, you know, and whatever else you want to put in there. But uh, that's my suggestion. The big thing is with this is to make sure you have a big feed, Coinbase or Binance. Oh, well, I don't know about Binance after yesterday, but Coinbase. Because you really want a consistent feed. So set that up in each of these. Uh, scroll down. Now, here's the other thing that I've suggested. One of the limitations with the PineScript uh, language is that we've had to create three different modules for every pattern, small, regular, and large, to capture as many as possible. So I would say set that as regular for now. If you're just running one window, you could run two and make sure you've got everything selected, uh, including ABCD. All right, so there you see the window popped up. All right, and what's going on here is it relates to your time frame. And you might even have to hit refresh. I would say go with the five minute. Usually you should find some patterns on a five minute. If you're not getting anything, again, check your, uh, check your settings. This is running slowly. What's going on? Hold on one second. Why is it so slow? Let me save it. And let me hit refresh. Shouldn't be that slow. It could be the fact that I'm running uh, the streaming webinar software here. It runs a lot of uh, computing power to generate even the, the pattern matches we were doing. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Why is that not popping up? Give it one second and let me check. There he goes. It should be working a lot, a lot faster than this, folks. I don't know why the, the performance is so slow. I should have done it on the other computer. All right, it's, it's something's popping now. I don't know why this is uh, giving me a problem though. Maybe the hold on. Let me check color settings. Maybe I've got that blacked out. All 
there you go sorry you can't see anything if I got it blacked out here let me improve that yikes so make sure your background if you're not seeing anything yeah make sure that you've got it set up use a white background I think that really pops the best so let's get to it how to read this thing so obviously this is the last pattern and the the bars column here is going to tell you okay what how long ago was the last pattern completed there you go and let's just take this Cardano 48 bars ago there was a bat pattern it lines up also remember you're on the highlighted time interval so that's only a five minute pattern but um, a lot of people know most patterns have two tests and the hop level HOP that's our lowest area where we'd want to take a trade the current level is 215 okay even though that's 48 bars ago it's probably an opportunity down here so I'll go to click on the, the link there's the five minute coinbase that should be right where is it oh I removed all let's go this is why you run two screens folks run two screens I removed all of the indicators off the other one so here's Cardano so we're looking for 210 212 on the coinbase feed there it is so just because you see a pattern on the screener that seems like oh it's too far away no if something is 30 bars past the pattern completion it's actually a better shot for what we have here a beautiful type 2 in development there you go there's the type 1 reaction ideal come back type 2 return full retest to the hop level now on the five minute we just triggered I say we go now from 214 uh, to 218 and a quarter on the larger scale remember Cardano also has a couple of larger bear, uh, bullish patterns uh, two hour time frame back here where are you where'd they go on the hourly sorry go back so we've been talking about this for a while this hourly on Cardano okay that's it 212 now you have a couple five minute patterns down there good place to take a shot so go back to your screener here's the other way let's say we want to add some more uh, we want to add more cryptos more you know have 24 maybe 30 increase the number of indicator screens you're gonna lose your chart screen but do it this way go up here to select your layout and then increase to say double or go triple that's going to squeeze it in kind of tight but that's how you get it so keep an eye on on that if you haven't tried it out check that out play around with it again once you guys get this down you'll see that it's a lot easier where you're referencing the screens you're referencing the screener um and no more just searching randomly through charts that's that's really important so take a look at that uh, if you have any questions get with me we're gonna uh, come on back on Friday 
I wanted to lay it out today, look for the details coming this week. And then after next week, we'll really get this started. But again, go to Harmonic Trader, become a basic member, and then you start your journey there. So that's what I have for today, folks. Thanks again. I'll see you next Friday. And until then, as always, go get them.